back to my channel. Here, this channel will talk about relaxed hair care, hair growth tips, protective styling, and so much more concerning the hair topic in general. So, if you know you're interested in this type of content, consider subscribing. So, in today's video, I'm going to share with you guys how to deal with product build up or how I generally. Uh, manage product build up, how I prevent it, how I'm able to take it down without much breakage and all that. So don't mind the way my hair looks. I am in the midst of taking down my three and a half months old protective style. So that's why I just decided to take a break and film this video to share with you guys how I manage product build up. So first things first, I'm going to start with how I prevent product build up or build up in general. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is products. I would not recommend that you use products like moisturizers, deep conditioners, oils and all that on your hair every day, especially when you're in a long-term protective style because when you do this and there is no opportunity for the product to get out, like for example through washing, the residues from the products are going to build up and accumulate on your hair which is going to lead to a lot of build up when you finally decide to take down your protective style and this can eventually result into a hard tangles and breakage so one of the things you want to consider when in long term protective styles with the aim of reducing or preventing product build up is to limit the product usage avoid using products on your hair on a frequent basis like i said i'm in the midst of taking down a three and a half months of protective style during the entire period of this protective style i think i moisturized my hair just once or twice and as you can see my hair is coming out fine after taking it down so it's not about the products you use on your hair whether you like it or not your body has a way or your scalp has a way of producing its own products its own oils its own protein and all that as long as you eat a healthy diet your body is capable of providing your hair the nutrients it needs all we do with these products is just to supplement what our body does so whether you deep condition your hair or you moisturize your hair or not your body is still going to produce those things so it's not really necessary moisturizing the condition of your hair every day when you're in a long-term protective style mind you i'm not saying you shouldn't moisturize or deep condition your hair i'm saying reduce the frequency now the next thing i'm going to talk about is cleaning your scalp some people wash their hair when in long-term protective style but for me i don't normally do that because i'm scared of tangles when i'm in a long-term protective style and i know i have a lot of shed hair in there if i go in and wash my hair my hair is likely going to come out with tangles and breakage so that's why i developed another means of cleaning my scalp while in long-term protective styles using methylated spirit and contour if you've not seen that video i'll make sure to link it down in the description box below so cleaning your scalp can help um reduce build up you can either do this by washing your hair which i say some people do but i personally don't use this method you can use uh, the method i use methylated spirit and cutting wood there are other methods of cleaning your scalp outside this you can use apple cider vinegar um, which has a spray. I've not used these two products, but I've had reviews on them. Maybe I'm gonna try them in the future and come back and give my personal experience for it. So for now, those are the methods I know for cleansing your scalp. Now I want to point out here that no matter how much you try to prevent build up, like through washing your hair, cleaning your scalp, producing the products you use on your hair, like the moisturizer that and deep conditioners and all that, no matter how you reduce this. You are still gonna come up with build up as long as you are in a long term protective style, and this is because, like I said earlier, your body has its own mechanism of producing these things, its own protein. Your hair has its natural protein, your hair has its natural oils, your scalp produces its natural oils, and that's why for some individuals, you see that if you go a long time without washing your scalp, your hair becomes more greasy compared to when you just finish washing your hair and this is also the mechanism employed in scalp massages because the more you massage your scalp the more you stimulate uh, blood flow to your scalp you stimulate your scalp to produce more oils making your hair more moisturized more greasy and all that so your body has a natural way of producing these things irrespective of whether you apply the products or not so no matter how you try and prevent product build up the truth is you are still gonna have build up now the problem is when you finally have that build up how to deal with it is the issue because you may decide to go on a three months protective style challenge and on the take down day if you decide to mess 
carelessly with your hair by just ignoring the product build up and detangling anyhow you like you're going to come out with massive breakage so i'm going to show you guys how i generally take down my product build up there are two methods i use the first method i'm going to be showing you is a three-step process and the next method is the two-step process so i'm just going to twist this hair out of the way so that you guys can see what i'm about to explain more clearly So like I said, I'm going to be teaching you guys two methods I use while getting rid of pillow pillow on my hair. And as you can see, I have a lot of build up here. So I'm going to use one braid to show you guys the first method and another braid to show you guys the second method. So I'm just going to take out this braid. Now this is not part of the steps in each method, but generally before I take down any long tail protective style, I make sure I go in and moisturize and seal my hair like a day or two days prior to when I take down the protective style and this generally makes the detangling process and managing the build up easier. So I've already moisturized my braids prior to this take down but to make it more easy i'm going to go in and moisturize my braid again and the moisturizer i'm currently using is the offensive mega growth daily leave in strength now this is my go-to moisturizer so all i'm going to do is apply it throughout the entire length of the braid from the new growth to the tips So guys, we've gotten to the point of the build up. Like I said, the first method is a three step process. So the first step is to gently pull apart the build up. Because of the moisturizer I've applied, it's going to be easier to detangle. So all I'm going to do is pull the hair strands gently apart. You can always apply more conditioner or moisturizer if you feel your hair is not soft or moisturized enough. So that's it. We are done with the first step. The next step is to go in and try and remove as much shed hair as possible. So you just go in using your fingers and slide through your hair to get rid of all shed hair or as much as possible. So I'm going to go in with more moisturizer because my hair is feeling dry already. I have high porosity hair so this is not good to me. So go in, try and remove shed there as much as possible. So that's the second step. The third step is now to go in with your comb, a wide tooth comb. You don't want to go in with a small tooth comb um, when you just start the tangle. After going in with a wide tooth comb, you can later decide to go in with a small tooth comb, but never start with a small tooth comb. So I'm going to start from the end of my hair and walk my way up. So this is the third and last step of the first method.
that's it guys so as you can see it's thoroughly detangled now So that's it for the first method. We are just gonna move on quickly to the second method. So let me just clip this out of the way. So now the second method is um, similar to the first method. The only difference is one step. And I usually prefer this method when I'm dealing with tough tangles. Like when there's a lot of build up associated with tangles, that's when I use this method. So as for the first method, I'm going to go in and moisturize first. So we've gotten to the point of the build up again. Now the first step for this second method is to go in first with a small tooth comb. So the thing is you're not going to go in and comb your hair with a small tooth comb. All you're going to do is try and break the build up apart with the comb by doing something like this. So doing this makes the second step easier, which is to now go in and gently pull apart. After this, we move on to the third step, which is to go in, slide your fingers through, and try and remove as much shed hair as possible. I'm going to go ahead and apply more moisturizer. After we should move on to the last step, which is to go in with your comb and now the tangle. So yeah guys, and we are done fully detangled so guys that's how i personally reduce product build up and deal with product build up when i'm about to take down a long-term protective style so yeah guys that's it for this video i have to get back to taking out this braids like i said i was taking out my braids and i decided to just take a break and show you guys how i deal with product build up if you want to see the full video on how i took down these braids i'll link it down in the description box below so that you can check it out if you are interested so yeah guys that's it for this video if you like this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up subscribe to this channel and turn on the post notification bell so that you'll be the first to get notified whenever i upload a new video so yeah guys thank you so so much for watching and see you in my next video bye